Intracellular recordings of neurons in freely moving animals pose a significant technical challenge because movement makes intracellular recording unstable. To overcome this issue, researchers developed a visual virtual reality system. In this setup, the mouse's head is restrained to stabilize the recording electrode. The mouse can nevertheless run upon a spherical treadmill where its movements are sensed by an optical detector. The detector transmits this information to a computer that controls a projector. With the aid of a reflecting mirror and an angular amplification mirror, the projector displays a scene onto a toroidal screen that encompasses the mouse's field of view. In this way, the virtual world projected onto the screen changes in response to the mouse's movement. The computer also controls a water tube that dispenses water as a reward when the mouse accomplishes designated tasks. A photo of the actual system shows the treadmill, water delivery tube, toroidal screen, projector, mirror, and angular amplification mirror, or AAM. A mouse was trained to run along a virtual linear track that had varying patterns on the walls to serve as location cues. The virtual world changes in response to the mouse's movements on the treadmill. Reaching the end of the track triggers delivery of water as a reward. Since consecutive water rewards aren't available at a single reward site, the mouse reverses course and shoots down the track to the other end. Although the mouse can turn around at any time, it has learned that it will receive more water by running from one end of the track to the other. This enabled researchers to obtain valuable intracellular recording data to explore the mechanisms of place field formation. The successful training of the mouse in this virtual reality environment demonstrates the utility of the head restraint technique for recording the activity of neurons in a visually guided performance task.